There are troubling new allegations tonight about that deadly port explosion in Beirut. Sources have told the Guardian newspaper that, that prior to the blast, dozens of bags of fireworks were being stored in the same warehouse as that stockpile of ammonium nitrate, which acts as an accelerant in a fire. In video from the day of the blast, you can see white flashes, what appear to be fireworks, going off before the massive explosion. A former port worker told the Guardian newspaper he warned for years it was a disaster waiting to happen and says nothing was done. More than 150 people are now confirmed to have died, and there's a growing consensus in Beirut that government negligence is to blame. Lebanon's president says the cause is still unknown, and as Crystal Gamansing reports, he's hinting without providing any evidence of something more nefarious than negligence. Scorched and twisted metal as far as the eye can see. This is what international search crews are facing. Questions about the cause of the devastation and destruction taking a new turn. The Lebanese president is now adding the possibility of a missile or bomb, asking France for satellite help to determine if there were warplanes in the air at the time. Michel Aoun says the cause has not yet been determined and that the international community doesn't need to get involved. Emotions are raw in Beirut. There have been small but violent clashes between citizens and government security forces. Many say the explosion is just the latest example of years of mismanagement and neglect. The blast involved more than 2,700 tons of ammonium nitrate stored at the port. Boris Prakashev was the captain of the ship that brought that load into Beirut during an unscheduled stop. He says the government knew it was dangerous. I cannot understand the fact that the cargo has been stored there for such a long time, he says. He questions why it wasn't moved and at least used to fertilize some fields. There are grave concerns about food security and shelter. Aid distribution is now in full swing. With large swathes of, of Beirut unfit to live in, the country's principal port all but destroyed, and the health system on its knees, the situation is really dire. It is so dire that even support agencies such as the World Food Program and UNICEF are having to salvage supplies and take stock of what's needed. International search crews are at the site combing through the debris with time running out to find any survivors. Crystal Gavanson, Global News, London.